Petros Pedrosyan has been wearing this Civil War era Union uniform so long it feels like real life rather than role playing. He commands the 124th New York Infantry Regiment. My father's family came here from uh, Arme actually Turkish Armenia prior to World War I. Uh, they were escaping, uh, of course, the situation in Turkey. And so they came to America prior to World War I. And typical of many of those immigrants, they wanted to become American very quickly. And it's my privilege to come here to help preserve American history because this war, the Civil War, helped make America the United States. It's like we time traveled to 1862. Even the food is authentic. Salah, we get about a half a kilo per day of this for food. And if you were fortunate as I am to be rich enough to spend a few cents, I have a lump of cane sugar. And in this we have what's called a, a mix for called hoe cakes. It's cornmeal and flour. You mix it in water and fry it in the baking grease in your frying pan. And that is my breakfast, my dinner, and my supper most days. Ah! The disagreements between the industrial north and agrarian south, where slavery was illegal, continue to this day. It said that the, the south was fighting for independence and the north was fighting for freedom. And people say, well, wait, well aren't those the same thing? Uh, well, no. Uh, the freedom that the, the northern soldier was fighting for was somebody else's freedom. And that's a, a pretty large motivating factor. We fought for just our individual states, our freedoms in our states. Most of the soldiers in that fight did not believe in slavery, they didn't own slaves, and they weren't fighting for slaves. Some reenactors say the current debate over removing monuments to the losing southern side is misguided. You know, people who tear down monuments are, are just uh, destroying their link to the past. And you know, more importantly than that, they're destroying my link to the past. You know, I had ancestors who fought in the Confederate Army, and these people who tear down their monuments are disrespecting them, they're disrespecting me, they're disrespecting the country, they're disrespecting their own history. Mm -hmm. They don't understand, they just don't get it. Abraham Lincoln, in his second inaugural address, said, with malice towards none and charity for all, meaning let's heal and be a nation once again. And I think that's the message we should take back. Some of these history buffs say it would be better to learn and apply lessons of history. Anusha Vitisyan, Sergey Moskalov, VOA News, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania.